about like um, a particular situation within ADP that you guys were challenged with, maybe a customer came to you and said, oh my gosh, this happened and what do we do? Or, you know, maybe something like, um, our business is not doing well. And you guys said, well, if you did this, boy, this is what will fix it. Y'all been up against any customers like that? Many, but uh, maybe Sandeep, you can start and then I can join in. <laughs> Yeah, I can give one example. Um, so recently I was working with an internet company, you know, the company which uh, whose business model was direct to customer. Right? So you launch a website and you, you're working directly with the customer rather than going to a traditional model of you have distributors and dealers and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So when this company uh, started their operations, they really wanted to provide a competitive differentiation in the market. But they weren't very sure how to go about this. And, and they reached out to us and they said that, look, what can we guys really do? And they said that, look, our, our business aspirations are that in next one year, we want to triple our revenue. I mean, it's a startup, right? So, yeah. I mean, if you ask them about 3x, 5x, 10x, it's like, yeah, it's just like no big deal. I mean, we can do that just like that. So while we were working with them, we understood their business aspirations and we said that, look, I think we strongly believe that if you want to pro bring in a competitive differentiation, I think this solution can really, really help you. This solution can really help you uh, increase your revenue. This solution can really help you to uh, bring in the customer satisfaction and the customer loyalty that is that is really needed. So, very interesting conversation that uh, you know I had with them. Hmm. Yeah, you, you, if you if you can keep your promises. So basically, as I was uh, looking at the Seinfeld uh, example, where where they uh, they they say that okay, anybody can make a promise, but keeping the promise is important, right? Yes. Right. So so that is all about ADP, right? So it's not that okay, I am just promising based on some old data or some some guesswork, but I am I am promising accurately to you so that I can keep my promise, and that is what uh, ADP is all about. Yeah, because like, how about all those cars that are, need chips and they're not running? You know, that's Just huge right prices, there. Yeah. yeah, I mean, people want to know when they're getting the cars and they, you know, or can you find it from somewhere else? You know, that's also looking around, trying to make sure that you're, you know, what you promised <laughs> is going to be delivered, that kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So, so that 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 makes or breaks a company, right? Because so imagine that, okay, in a scenario that, okay, you are a car, car manufacturer, right? And mm -hmm. now you you need the tires coming from another company. So your car cannot be delivered to your customer if you do not get the four tires, right? Or five right. tires, if you have the spare ones, right? So that, that the promise, so there are two promises involved here, right? The first promise is coming from the, the, the tire manufacturer to this car, the, to the car manufacturer, and the car manufacturer has also promised to the dealers, which is which is now giving the the car to the to the end customer, right? So there right. are two promises, and break in one promise actually changes the entire chain, right? So so the in the B two B business where uh, these kind of promises are very very important, and, and 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 imagine that okay, we are not talking about customers getting one or two orders, right? So like the big companies get hundreds of thousands of orders every day if you are. Uh, so the biggest mobile manufacturer actually use advanced ATP, right? Mm -hmm. In the world, the biggest mobile manufacturer, they use advanced ATP. And now the question is that they are getting hundreds of thousands of orders every day and they have to find the allocation. They need to protect their customer interest. And most importantly, one of the key functionality is when you're looking for substitutes, right? Yeah. If the stocks are not available in one location, can I get it from somewhere else? Or if the stock is not available for one particular configuration, is is the customer willing to take another configuration, right? So those substitutions are also very important. Uh, when you're you know, another also company. when you're looking at those substitutions, does it show like, um, does purchasing have like, you know, this is a good, you know, preferred customer or has quality control said, oh my God, they have terrible product, don't you know, buy from them. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, I'm yes, sure so everything's- so, <laughs> so this is very interesting. So most of us said that, okay, if you are if you're dealing with five orders a day, probably you need to look at uh, manually, but automatically these things would happen. And now choosing what is the best substitution is a challenge, right? And this could be different for different yeah. customers, right? So that what is the best um, substitution? This you can configure. We have models 
where you can configure that what is the best substitution for a particular business case. Certain customers you want to deal in a different way, other customers you want to deal with a different way. All this flexibility of how the substitutions are happening can also uh, be configured in, in advanced ATP. Interesting. 